go. We're back for another episode of Beards Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. Of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. We got another guest in the building again. Got my man E. Beasy off to the right. Yo. Got my man Angry Principal in the building, of course. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. We didn't did three shows in a row, so I got the same shirt on, okay? <laughs> I say. Right. And if, uh, and if I'm going a little slow or slurring, it is because we recorded three shows. All right, so this is a real bourbon whiskey podcast, so we actually drinking. All right, so right now. Drinking, drinking. Right, drinking, drinking. Uh, we got from two James Spears, right? We got Jay Riddle, right? This is right down here in Detroit. Um, this is going to be a heavily corn mash, and it's peated bourbon, though, right? So, so Bo, tell the people, like, what's the difference between, like, regular bourbon, bourbon and what peated bourbon would be? So, peated bourbon is basically, you know, uh, uh, introducing single malt scotch, okay. single malt scotch whiskey, whiskey into the into the mash bill. That's, you know, simply what it is. Gotcha. Right? Uh, then, you know, there's several different types of scotch. There's what? There's single malt scotch, there's blended scotch, and there's all these different scotches, and two, which are whiskeys and whatnot, so... Long story short, peated bourbon. All right, got you. All right, so what it sounds like is peated bourbon is going to kind of taste like scotch. So mm -hmm. I will tell you off rip, I've never had Jay Riddle uh, from Two James, but um, I'm not normally a fan of scotch, so we'll see how this works out. Yeah, if you're not a scotch fan, chances this are you probably won't. Like yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm a fan of scotch, you know, so, like, I enjoy drinks enjoy like it. this. If you don't, not, you can experiment it, you can try it, try it, but, uh... You know, it may Pretty not be for you. Like yeah, 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 it, it may not be for you. you. So, I yeah, see. the process, they, they take the <clears> peat <throat> moss mm -hmm. and smoke the corn. Gotcha. That's how you get the smoky smell off of it. Okay. Before they do the whole mash and before they gotcha. create the mash, okay. they smoke the actual grains okay. with the peat moss. Mm -hmm. So, it's a process of just uh, taking that peat moss. You can buy peat moss off of uh, yeah. Amazon if you yeah. want to. Yeah. Yeah. You take it, you smoke, you, you light it on fire, it smokes up. Yeah. You're smoking in the grain in like a smokehouse or whatever. Yeah. And then that's how you, you start up your mash bill. Hmm. So okay. That's where it is. That's interesting. All right, so pause that's definitely a little bit different. So maybe I might like this. All right, pause for the court. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Genie in a bottle. Hey. <laughs> is that Christina Aguilera? <laughs> right. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, that is a song. Christina Aguilera. She's right. a genie in a bottle. Oh, yeah, I'm an old pop artist I'm looking a, at it. A little white girl. She was bad though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. All right, we'll see how that works. Unpopular opinion: Christina Aguilera is better entertainer than Britney Spears. I don't think that's a, well unpopular amongst white people. White maybe. folks. Okay, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say because I don't think so. Yeah. No. I wouldn't know the difference. I said better entertainer. Better yeah, entertainer. entertainer. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Entertainer. I, would, I wouldn't even know the difference. All right, I, so I don't know. Okay, so so first of all, I'm gonna say this. Off rip, it don't smell like no scotch. Mm -hmm. I'll say that it don't smell like no scotch. I've ever I was had. just about to say that. Yeah. yeah, definitely smell a little lighter. And it, it's some fruit in here too. I, this I have a hard like this. Almost like pears. I have a hard time smelling the 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 peat, the malt. Don't smell right? it at all. Like yeah, like you, you can't, can't get it at all. Smoky. Now remember, I've never happy. had this either. So like this, oh, this is yeah. first time for everybody. Yeah, this is first okay. time for everybody. Right, definitely first time. First okay. time for everybody. All right, yeah. so this, this is gonna be a good one. Yep. Okay, I can taste the pea. Uh. Hmm. It's not bad. Okay. This is it's, 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 it's not Scott. So hey, you folks at home, if you, if you ever had single malt, if you ever had Oban, which is a single malt mm -hmm. Scotch. I get I get some some hints of Oban, and I think we did Oban in the first season, right? No, Wasn't we that? did uh, Buchanan's. Right, got gotcha. you. Yeah, right. But I get some hints of Oban with like, may, like you said, pear, maybe some 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 yeah, some, some, some fruit pear, sweet, yeah. sweetness, maybe a little caramel or honey. I'm, 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 I'm I agree tasting. with the pear, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely some pear. Yeah, hit a pear off rip, like I, cause I love pear, so I, I recognize that off rip. Um. It is, it is a, uh, I guess you would call it a peatness <laughs> to it, but it's, it's not like any other scotch that I've had. Yeah, because so. like, yeah, it's almost like smoky almost. Yeah, yeah. so it's not, it's bad. So, that, mm. so off rip, my whole first impression is blown after tasting Ooh. it. So after tasting it, I, I ain't even gonna lie. I like this I shit. Like this. I like it. <laughs> I like I, it. I, I, hey, and it's made in Detroit. Exactly, it's made in Detroit. I had a, we don't have a clue who Jay Riddle is, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a twelve-year Scotch uh, Glen Pittage, mm -hmm. and it lacks the harshness. I'm surprised that it is sweeter mm -hmm. too. 
Ooh. compared to another scotch. So it's and definitely it got the scotch. yeah, it's definitely got the flavors of a bourbon, mm-hmm. but that little bit of a smokiness that you would get in the scotch. It's a good uh, blend of the yeah, two. Yeah, it really is. Two styles. Yeah, that's, for sure. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. I'm, <laughs> hey, now, well, this is completely surprised. not what I thought it was going to be. Also, I don't know the price point on this because I won it in a raffle. Right. Um, I'm assuming it's probably like the rest of the bottles they have at Two James is anywhere from like thirty to fifty it's bucks. Forty nine, if I remember correct. Okay, there we go. So like you know, not super expensive, but you no, know, not at all. Mm-hmm. For the fifty ball, I'm on that all yeah. day. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm got, super. I'm excited. It's got the sweetness that you like. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely has the sweetness. Off rip, off rip. All right, so now on the end, I'm getting the honey. Off of it, that's giving it the mm. sweetness. The pear is with the honey. Is? I taste that honey. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting it now. I taste that I'm honey. Just getting it now. It's it's taking a while to get there though. It's a long finish on this. Mm. It's complex for it's sure. Really long. It's definitely finish. complex. And mm. it's and it's different from the first sip to after I let some air get into it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think it's catching up with you. It's catching up. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. still buffering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember that buffering? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Before Wi-Fi and all that. So yeah. again, like. Man, I am super surprised. This has taken me. You was, was thinking Buchanan's, like I was. Yeah. Like, I was thinking Buchanan's, and like, and I ended up drinking the Buchanan's because I, I just, you know, yeah, <laughs> but, that's, just how, that's just how I go. That's how I go. But, um, definitely wasn't a thing. Like, I then you got to figure though. So Buchanan's, and we had something else too. We had two of them. It was yeah, it was the, the other one was a blended scotch. It was though. a blended scotch, and then aside from that, I had uh, Cuddy Sark. So like, I didn't uh-huh. have a lot of great. You know, See, Cuddy kind of, Shark is like, I don't. It's like bumpy face. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's more like bumpy face. Yeah, I'm about to say not quite five o'clock. Yeah, but bumpy face. face. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so those were my first experiences with Scott. So I kind of had, you know, a sour opinion of it. And of course, um, again, if you've been keeping up with any of our shows, then you know that I do like sweeter things. So obviously, Scotch wouldn't fit into those things, even though. Um, Glen Fittage, I actually do. I, I've never had a twelve year, but I've had some Glen Fittage. I don't remember which one it was. Um, but it was it was decent. Um, but this right here, though, for it to be peated and be similar to Scotch, I'm a fan. Like I, I yeah, you should have been busted open. It's the this best, is a, that's exactly it. It's, it's the, the best, best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah that's it's exactly a good it. mix of both styles. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yeah, for Scotch sure. And the I think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't really have yeah. much to add to that, right? Yeah. You know, I know some folks out there like they hate Scotch. Some folks out there hate bourbon. bourbon. I don't know, man. This, like, might, this, be is, this might be your ticket right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not the biggest Scotch mm-hmm. drinker, so mm-hmm. this is really, yeah. this would be like this. If I wanted to dabble into Scotch, I would this start would here mm-hmm. to for work sure. my way right. into And work yourself up. Yeah, exactly, for yeah. sure. Because I mean, Scotch is definitely that old white man it drink. Is, you know what I mean? It's that old white man drink. Yeah. Yeah. They know, right. they know exactly, right? They, they know how to drink. I'm always What's gonna up? get old like that. Start yeah, 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 <laughs> this yeah. right here is definitely a, a good bridge. To that um, you're looking at 91 proof, so it's a uh, 45.5. So not not, not too strong, high, just, but yeah, yeah strong, yeah. Um, but strong enough. So still stronger than cognac. Oh, <laughs> dribbling on myself over here. <laughs> <laughs> you drink this for flavors. You for want sure. Flavors. Right? You yeah. want to taste the flavors. The flavor profile again. I, I'm biased to, and this is weird though, right? Because I, I don't normally like fruit sweet things, but I love pears. And I think that's what made me like this because, like the apple stuff. Like again, if the if the uh, on the, the previous show when I had the apple smell, but the the taste wasn't as strong, I was okay with that. Um, with this one, even though you can smell the pears and you can taste the pears, like I'm cool with pears for whatever reason. So um, I do. I, I thoroughly enjoy this one, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, we gonna go around the block and get everybody's uh, opinion on this. Of course, if you've ever had it, um, go ahead and link us up in the in the uh, comments and let us know what you thought about it. Um, and also, just tell us what you think about you know what we're saying. Uh, also, too, if you're watching right now and you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel, Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast, of course. E B Z dog. Yeah, I share my opinion. Like, yeah, for sure. It's uh like I said, it's it's not harsh. It's mm-hmm. got the, the fruity flavors you would expect from a bourbon. Um, but it, without the, the harshness of a scotch. Facts. Um I I think it goes down much smoother than uh, a lot of uh a lot of scotches and, and then some burps that I've had. Right, even some burps, right? Yeah, not larceny, sure. though. That's my shit. <laughs> Obviously. He loved that larceny, boy, because he, he made it. He was a second shot. He didn't bother him, I was about to say. He brought it up again, boy. Let that larceny. Larceny, this shit, though. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Especially again. You turn me on to that. 
Yeah, hey, uh-huh. that's yeah, me my, too. Hey, shout out to my my homeboy A A D A D. He turned me on to that larceny. We was okay. down in New Orleans. I'm not gonna get into those stories because that was a hell of a trip. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I got turned on to uh, uh, larceny. Was down in New Orleans. And shout out to my homeboy A D. For sure. That was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Right. Here's our angry principal. Now, what you say, man? I would give it. Are we doing Black Power Fist now? Not yet. We're just giving our little opinion. I, I, just, just go I like this because it's a mix. Mm-hmm. It's different. Different. It's definitely Hella different. different. Yeah. You can tell the Scotch influence, but you can also know that it's a bourbon. Mm-hmm. I am thoroughly impressed with this one. For sure. And we got to make a trip down to the Two James Tasting. Yeah, we, we really do. Down, <laughs> down on Michigan. Because they have yeah. the distillery process there, yeah. too, that you can... I don't know yeah. if they give tours. Like, they used to give tours, yeah. but I don't know if they still do. says tours okay. are available. Cool. So okay. But I said, I know they used to. Place for us to yeah. We got to get to that, then. Yeah. Come in. For sure. See, Look, we'll, Detroit we'll, has... We'll Detroit, we'll film. Detroit we'll film if you're not hip to Detroit's bourbon and liquor scene... You need to come up here and and take a trip around some of the spots we Absolutely. have between here, Ypsilanti. Uh, Man, there are some quality spaces that you can, you can even go up north to like Traverse City and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, you know, City, and, yeah, and check out some some yeah. some small uh, distilleries Grand up there Rapids. for sure. Grand Rapids, yeah, that's some yeah. Nice stuff, so. mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out Absolutely, to, shout out to Traverse City whiskey though. That's, that's my joint too. Anyway, Traverse City so, whiskey is good. Yeah, it, it, it is good. Fire. It's, it's fire. good. It's other good. Than that, other than that cherry. I ain't like the cherry one. Yeah, 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 yeah cherry, cherry one. But, but, <laughs> but what you say, man? Hey, so, you know, I'm a fan of scotch. Single malt scotch. You know, I like some blended, but mostly single malt. And... Which is which is crazy because you know you got bourbon which typically has a sweeter profile right, right. and you got scotch which typically has a more bitter smoky yeah, profile right. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Right. but um I tell you what man like I've never had this either I, I won this bottle in a raffle I've had it literally for about, probably about five years mm-hmm. you know and uh, I don't know why I decided to bring it out today yeah. but like well, we thank you. yeah I'm, 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 <laughs> thank hey, you. I'm glad I did right. because I, sure. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. No doubt. I'm no like, doubt. yeah. It, it's almost like you said, best of both worlds. It's it almost is. like they found like that perfect mix between the two. If you were going to mix bourbon and scotch, yeah, it's almost sure. like a perfect mix. You it know? is. Yep. It's like that right amount of water, Kool-Aid, and sugar. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's like that yeah, perfect, you know what I'm saying? No, factual. <laughs> I couldn't explain that no better. Man. <laughs> On that level, obviously, I got to agree. So, um, just like he said it the, at, at first, like it's the best of both worlds. It really is. Um, I got the sweetness that I needed and a little bit of scotch to make me feel like, you know, I did some old man. Some grown man like, shit. Some old man drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Again, I, just, I know I said this three times already, but I am super surprised because my whole first perception of this was like I was going to hate it. And this completely changed my mind. EBZ, we'll start with you, though. Of course, the rating system, one to five, Black Power Fist. What you get this joint right here? We'll give him four of them. Four of them. Four of them things. Four of them, man. Yeah, four of them things. Okay. Yeah, just uh, just to reiterate the the facts that I was spouting uh, off uh, earlier. It's just, it it is the best of of both worlds. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's that mix that, you know, I could see myself. Um, chilling out with mm-hmm. at the bar, any bar, my right. own bar, <laughs> right? My, uh, you know, the neighborhood bar, and then you know, some, you know, if they got it on hand at some, uh, you know, trendy spot, definitely mm-hmm. for sure, mm-hmm. something, something nice to, to smooth out the night. Okay. okay. Anger principal, what you say? I'm genuinely thinking about putting this in the rotation. It's readily available here, <laughs> right? And this could be one of those. I'm gonna drop some of this every couple of days. May yeah. have some of this. Yeah. For sure. It is really a nice sip. It's nice. And especially, it's nice. it feels more like something you would have in the summer than in the winter. I thought about yeah. that. I thought about this that. Is great yeah. summer I thought about bourbon. That. If you got to mm. put a season on it, the summer for this, I thought about this that. is perfect for it. It's not too heavy. It's just light enough for the it, fruit. It give you a little it bit give, of a, a tea feel. And the hug is decent, mm-hmm. not overpowering. But overpowering. Right. So if you outside on the barbecue and you you cooking and you sitting there waiting, joint? man, you are, I think you sick. Oh, come on, I share this. I want to add. I don't I don't like, add you know what I would do with this, though? I ain't gonna lie. I would put it in some green tea. You thinking about the J-Mo now. I am, I am, I am, I, am, I am. I would put it in some so, green so, tea. So, let me tell you, Irish whiskey and and and, and, uh, 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 and scotch are totally different. They okay? are different. They are totally different, right? But... He, he put it all into one category because Irish, Scotland is all the same <laughs> shit, blah, blah, blah. Right? That's what he's thinking. I'm just letting you know. I'm just saying. But I, I feel that, anyway. 
I love you. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> let me add that. But yes, yeah, Jay, my bad. Real quick, Jay Mama and Green Tea. That's Excellent. a good, that's a good mix, though. Yes, so my bad. Go ahead, bro. But I'm giving it three and a half. I'm giving it three. I and would half. not yeah. water this down with any ice, and I normally like to put ice in my stuff. I mean, you can, but I for this for for me, mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't water it down because it's it's just perfect. To yeah, I agree. You, you don't need it. No, you don't need it, but need but I know me if I'm outside on the grill, I'm gonna put some some green tea in there, and some ice in this joint because I'm about to make a cup this big. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm right. saying. I'm about to drink a cup this big. Right. <laughs> and I'm gonna grill. I'm not, I ain't got this. Exactly. I got, I got my uh, what you call it? The uh, the Yetis. The Yeti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got my Yeti with some ice in it. And whatever liquor and whatever else I put. Exactly. And I'm getting fucked up that day. Like that, yeah, I'm throwing a green tea in that joint, but yeah. It's Sorry good, for that. It's F-bomb, y'all. Sorry for the F-bomb. It's good advice. I'm, oh, trying, I'm trying to change. No, we can cut. Yeah, we but, yeah. Hey, he's, he, he working on himself. I'm trying not to be as aggressive. I'm trying to be as aggressive as I normally am. That's impressive. Right? Yeah. You said that's impressive. Hey. That's all right with me. <laughs> 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 all right, so we got a phone of 3.5. What you giving it, bro? Oh, I'm going to give it a solid 3.5, too, right? Uh, and, and the only reason I'm not giving it a 4 is it's the first, my first time having it, right? You know, I got I to gotta revisit it a couple times. It's like, do I really like this? You know what I mean? That's that's, that's, that's how I go about my bourbons and whatnot. But uh, solid 3.5. Um, I'm a big fan of scotch, you know, but it doesn't. The, the, the scotch flavor, you know, yeah, it, it doesn't overpower you. Like, oh, okay. you can barely even smell it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You no, can't. no. I, you can't. I think the way they've mixed this, you know, I, I think the way that they've made, you know, distilled this, I, I think it's great. It is. You know, yeah. You know, I give it a solid three and a half. I definitely buy, as Angry Principal said, it's, it's probably going to find its way in my rotation somehow. Sure. You know, yeah. and, and especially that it's local and made in Detroit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. So absolutely. Definitely something I keep on deck for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, I agree. Um, I'm gonna give it the same thing, 3.5. Uh, obviously, it would have been a four, but again, I told you what I reserved my four and four, four and a half and fives for. But um, the thing is, too, though, I would give it higher. But even though it doesn't absolutely taste like scotch at all, like I'm just not a scotch fan for real. So like, if I had to choose between this and another bourbon, obviously, I would probably choose a bourbon. But um, for that combination of like a, a little bit of scotch bite to it. And the sweetness of a bourbon like this is absolutely perfect. So for that reason, uh, it's a 3.5, and I would definitely keep it on deck, though. This is something that, um, and y'all know me, I buy a lot of Evan Williams because it's 15 and $17. Dollars. But, like, <laughs> this would actually make it into that Evan Williams. Evan right Williams now. is solid, though, for a, for a $15, $17 dollar pour. It's solid. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That, that and uh, Rebel Yell. I, I, I fucking love <laughs> Rebel Yell. I never had I'm Rebel Yell. No. I see it. Yeah. And the... Well, it's, it's called a, Rebel. It's Rebel Yale, well, it's so Rebel. It's nah, just Rebel, it's Rebel Oh, okay. Well, the Honey yeah. Proof is better. Like, you know, it's a Honey Proof. I don't know. I just get the vision of... Never, never mind. Uh, well, anyway, Jay, on Riddle, that note, Jay Riddle's doing a good job on this. This, right. is, this is a good yeah. one. No, this is really good. This, yeah, is, this good. is really good. And again, that's uh, Detroit's own. All right, so make sure you go down to the Two James Distillery, and they are doing tours, right? Yeah, located in Cork Town. For sure, dog. Yeah. That's what's up. All right, so look, we're about to get out of here. That was another great episode. Make sure that you, do, uh, that you do check them out. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, we're about here. We're about to finish drinking and move on with our weekend. Uh, <laughs> he looks like he already does. I yeah, know, right? <laughs> on that note, we out of here, man. I got EBZ in the building. Y'all right now. Got my man, Angry Principal, holding it down. Drink what you like, how you like. My dog, Bo, in the building. I say. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Red Zone, baby. We out of here.